Hello people, this is back from Bird Wave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at the NASDAQ. Um, so, a couple of things first. Um, if you want to, if, if you want to ask any specific um, chart, then um, you can either do so uh, down in the comments, or if you want to join the Discord, which is absolutely free, um, you can just join, and I uh, usually do polls there, uh, where I ask uh, you guys what you guys rather want to see in, uh, let's say, let's call it today's tomorrow's analysis. Um, but, and also, I think tomorrow is, is going to be the uh, Bitcoin update, uh, so stay tuned for that. If you are interested, as I, I noticed, uh, the Nasdaq, the S&P, and the Bitcoin tend to be the one people like the most. As well as, let me know if you guys also want uh, a Bitcoin uh, weekly or bi-weekly update. Oh, sorry, sorry, I meant a, a gold <laughs> weekly or bi-weekly update. Uh, that's something that we, we could also do. And uh, considering that I cover the, let's call it, long-term chart in the previous uh, NASDAQ and S&P update, which I'll leave you popping up uh, right now as usual. So if you're going to watch uh, my accounts where I also look at alternates for the long-term, uh, go do that. And uh, so today we're going to focus more on the intraday and we'll also take a look at, at the futures. Now, that being said, uh, the, the preferred account for the time being, which is quite bullish, but um, it's the stock market. Um, it's a one, two, three, four, five. Now, I've had this account for several time, and I did say that at twenty thousand, I was expecting something. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm full of crap, just watch my, you know, two months ago, uh, one of the latest video I posted before uh, starting to at least give a, a good attempt, um, an honest attempt in posting every day. Um, and you will see that uh, we were back at 18,000 and I was saying that uh, I was expecting 20 uh, to be reached and to uh, provide resistance. Now, um, it's not about bragging, it's about where are we going next, which uh, if I knew, I wouldn't be here. So we'll try to take an initiated guess. Now, uh, as you can see, I'm looking for some sort of wave A, which we're going to investigate today. Um, and um, if we look at some fibs, uh, simply put, we bounced off 23.6. Um, we, we're going to investigate in, into here, see what's happening. 38.2 is at uh, 16,000. And f let's bring on the 50 and the 0 0.618. Uh, 15,000 for the 50, almost. And 13.5 uh, for the 61.8. Uh, to be honest, um, I wouldn't want it to go beyond the 50, considering it's a wave two. And um, usually wave twos on the, they tend to be deep, but not when it comes to indices. Uh, if we take a look at any wave two here, apart from the 07, 08 here, um, but everything, you know, that didn't happen because of a major crisis. You see how they're all pretty much shallow and uh, they tend to retrace near the wave four of uh, one degree. So hopefully and potentially that trend will continue and um, most likely or at least potentially this area will hold as support. So around 15,000. Um, and um, that being said, uh, let's take, let's get rid of that. Let's go on to the hourly straight into the one hour chart. So my best guess is, and we're going to review it together as usual, I try to do things with you. So hopefully you can see my thinking process. You may learn from, from it. You may think I'm a complete idiot, uh, but at least uh, hope, hopefully it'll help someone. So a one, two. Now here, I think, okay. Um, so here already the first problem we have so if I say this is a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Mm, it looks like one, two, three, four, five. What if? So I'm I'm looking obviously as you can see here at a five wave down into wave A, which would make the correction in wave two a zigzag. Uh, so a zigzag obviously a five three five structure. Um, if that's what I'm looking at, then obviously we have a problem because the wave, here be, wave 3 will be here, 4 here, and at that point, I think something is possible, something like this, uh, which would be uh, a flat, 
let me show you. Down in A, up in B, down in C. Oopsie, okay. Of A. So a flat in wave A. At that point though, we will need something like this. So today we will need to move higher. Is that gonna happen? Uh, I have no idea. Will it happen? I don't know. Could it happen? Possible. Uh, where's wave B? We got lost. Okay. So this is actually a pretty nice count, isn't it? Um, the shape of four and five and two, pretty nice. Uh, they look similar in size. B is larger because it's one higher degree. Uh, if you're wondering, A, B, C. Here you can also see uh, what I think is a clear five wave move. I don't know why I got. Forgive me. Okay, so here the five wave move I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five. Into wave C of minor B. And uh, here at this point, you would have either a leading diagonal or else, uh, what else could you have? Some sort of a flat uh, into wave A, so some sort of free wave move, uh, probably something like this. Um, I don't know, something like this, maybe. Um, the problem is, um, it's possible everything needs to be moved one degree lower. So it's possible we are still here. And uh, we are in, you know, minor wave A. So this is also possible um, right here. So as usual, I'm going to create a label for all of this, calling it a, you know, flat into wave A. Let's do that. Flat in A. Um, yes. Okay, now, uh, given the fact that you can, I can count it as a flat, a flat so I can count it as a three wave move, this is technically also possible. But technically, I mean, other wave wise, this is possible. As a matter of fact, we are near the wave four of one last degree, right? So this could help, uh, you know, could we have a low in place? Could we skyrocket to all time high? Yes, possible. Will we? I have no clue. Uh, but technically, this is possible. So let's keep this in mind. Uh, this is actually, if you are, this is the most bullish, bullish scenario I see. Um, and if we want to, um, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, I guess, this is a more bearish scenario. Right? A zigzag into wave A yet to be completed. Uh, given the fact um, here, if we have a sideways two, then this wave four could be completed uh, being sharp. It's possible alternation. Very nice. One more wave down. Now, I got a comment on my ETH uh, update uh, saying that um, in some of my accounts, way three was uh, was not the longest, hence uh, I was breaking a rule. Remember, guys, the rule is way three cannot be the shortest. It does not mean it has to be the longest, which is pretty much a, a substantial difference. Way three can be shorter than one, as long as way five is shorter than three. Remember that. It doesn't have to be the longest, it just doesn't, uh, it just um, can't be the shortest. Um, uh, but yeah, that's possible. So I guess I'm gonna call this um, um, let's call it uh, five down in A. Okay right there, and at this point, I'll do this, two, okay, so this is also possible. Now let's take a look at the futures. 
so here I'm, I'm on CFD, which replicates the future market. So here in the future market, which um, so if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven usually means corrective, and this move down here. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm I realize I'm looking bar chart. Oh, hopefully you guys don't mind. It's the same for me. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like we have we might do something like this at least if not even lower um, if we look at the cash market oh sorry the futures market take volume yeah suggesting this you know we move we kept on moving lower with increased volume which uh, tends to be a bear a be a blah sorry bearish sign um, and um, yeah uh, the main thing is 18,000 as long as we keep trading below 18,000 so if 18,000 um, let's see if it shows here so as long as um, 18,000 keeps providing resistance then we need to be bearish for the short term obviously I'm talking about the short term so 18,000 keeps providing resistance uh, for the downside should be expected um, so yeah looking at cash market that's what I'm expecting uh, will not go into the other indices as I might do a dedicated video otherwise this is going to be 30 minutes long uh, but that's what I see for the NASDAQ so in a nutshell I see potentially this is the most probable one at this point looking also at the um, futures market one more like down potentially around here the area the bottom of the previous four and then pull back um, or else a flat and now you know some sort of a more upside some sort of way to then continue lower or else you know if you're feeling lucky wave 2 is here and we're headed to all time high which is my least preferred account as, you, as usual guys if you have any questions any comments let me know down below if you appreciate the video if you enjoy the content it does take some time I would highly appreciate it if you subscribe and if you like thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.